Louisville woman gets a 15-year sentence for trying to hire an undercover FBI agent to kill her ex-husband and his new wife. Elizabeth Stackelback pleaded guilty in March, but this morning she learned her fate. WLKY's Marissa Alter was there for the emotional hearing. She joins us now from the Judicial Center with more. Marissa? Rick Stackelbeck had agreed to that sentence as part of the plea deal, but today, instead, she asked the judge to give her probation. Meanwhile, her victims begged for the opposite. If you want something fancy like this, I'll take a thousand. It's a murder for hire plot more reminiscent of a movie than reality. And in court Wednesday, the woman at the center of it explained why she sought out a hitman during a bitter custody battle. I lost all my humanity. I became. I became uh, something I didn't recognize. Stackelbeck cried as she blamed prescription drug abuse for what she did last August. Offer an undercover FBI agent posing as a killer, money, prescription drugs, and sex if he took out her ex-husband and his new wife. This was video of the exchange. I was convinced in my mind that my child was in danger, and I felt like I had to do what I had to do to protect her. Stackelbeck has a seven-year-old daughter with ex-Matt Vaughn. In court, she promised she was now clean and had changed, even saying she was grateful for the arrest. But Vaughn warned the judge not to believe her. The problem with these sentiments is that I've heard each of them before and on many occasions. He also said Stackelbeck had targeted him ever since the two split, even coaching their daughter to accuse him of abuse. When that failed, he said she upped the ante to murder. Wife Morgan broke down in court recalling the details. I will never forget seeing the evidence for the first time. My wedding pictures were used to identify us to the hitman. Pictures that I should look at and remember the happiest day of my life are now marked with her intentions to kill us. The Vaughn said their lives now consist of always looking over their shoulders. He carries a gun and alternates his routes to work. The only peace they've had is knowing she was locked up. My family deserves to live our lives absent of fear and paranoia that's been created because of her actions. Judge Mitch Perry agreed, telling Stackelbeck what she'd done was too serious for probation. I think the judge understood that the victims of this crime are going to deal with it the rest of their life. I mean, they in some ways have a life sentence. Now, Stackelbeck did have several supporters in the courtroom today, including her mother and her brother. Both of them addressed the court, saying that she'd recovered in the past nine months. They also pledged to support her if she got probation. Reporting live outside the Judicial Center tonight, I'm Marissa Alter, WLKY News. All right, thanks, Marissa. Now, as part of Stackelbeck's sentence, she also must pay a $1,000 fine. She can't file for shock probation until November. The Commonwealth says that it will fight that when she does.